a beauty. Picks out Harrison, uh, Harry Wilson, I should say, right hand side. Back for Kenny Tetty. Swings across in early. Oh, boot was raised there towards uh, Mitrovic's head, but got away with it. And then Seri picking out Wilson again. There you go. 4-1. That'll do now. The three goal lead restored. Some great work there from Seri, Sean. He's uh, barely had time to adjust to the uh, pace of the game. He's only just come on. The first ball was delightful to Harry Wilson. When that didn't uh, produce anything, it came back to him. He's picked him out again. Great finish from Harry. And again, it's just pure quality. Yeah, well, his first pass was a 60-yard crossfield pass, and then he's played an absolute world of a pass outside of his boot. You are just joining us from attacking the ham uh, the uh, putty in his first half. One change to the start, 11. Cabano in for Decker Dover Reed. Here's Joe Bryant sliding in the box. Mitrovic, 1 0! Come on! Alexander Mitrovic there for Fulham. And he just slotted it past Daniel Everson. He's made that look so easy. It was a perfectly weighted pass. You've got to say from Joe Bryant, I think it was. But I think Joe Bryant's played a big part in Fulham's opening goal. And the, the uh, lead has been half, but here come Fulham. Josh Onema, fed through by uh, Carvalho. Finds Bobby Decker Dover Reed inside the box. Good footwork from him. Squares it across. Carvalho! Yes! Come on! 3 1. 3 1 to Fulham. The uh, two goal lead restored. It's a beautifully worked goal. Josh Onema involved. Good running from him. Bobby Decker Dover Reed did really well inside the box under pressure. Great footwork. And great uh, intelligence there to pull it back. And then Fabio Carvalho kept his head. Great uh, composure, really, for a youngster. Here's Cubano, the short corner played to him by Tom Kearney. Cubano returns it to TC. Back for Cubano, right hand side. Swings the cross in with his right foot. It's 6 0. And it's Muniz, I think, who's got the touch. He's doubled his goal tally as well, Rodrigo Muniz. And a good poacher's finish when the ball was whipped in by Nizkin Cabano. Plenty of pace on the cross, but he's got there first. He's got the right contact in the uh, in front of goal, and he's made it six. 17 and a half minutes remaining, plus stoppage time. Harry Wilson whips it in, and there it is. A wonderful goal. It's Alexander Mitrovic. Who else? But a wonderful delivery from Harry Wilson, the free kick. And that serves Matt Crooks right for me. Great delivery. Mitro's in behind them. The header, Jamie, what a beautiful execution from Fulham. Quality free kick, quality header. The goalkeeper could do nothing, Joe Lumley, but watch it fly past him into the net. Fulham are in front. That's a side that's going to win the championship. You see out a bit of a storm at the other end, and then you go down the complete opposite end of the pitch. It's good ball whipped in. Now Harry Wilson for Fulham and there it is, there's the second goal. Well he caught us on the hop there because it was uh, Route 1 stuff, we're just uh, settling down from the free kick, the booking for Tyrese Dolan for simulation, they were still contesting that to a certain extent. But Harry Wilson certainly took full advantage, beautifully uh, Blake pass from tossing through the gap and it's perfectly weighted, Jamie. Harry doesn't have to break stride. 18 minutes into the second half, but he's then been shown a red card on 72 minutes for allegedly kicking out. Here's Ivan Cavallero just on and he's nipped it in and that's it. Good night, God bless. 4-1 to Fulham and Ivan Cavallero. What an introduction. He's only been on the pitch a few seconds. He's calling the, the Fulham players away from the fans, the referee. Ivan Cavallero there was like Greece lightning going through the middle, took it on his chest and what a lovely little finish. Fulham could break, here's Harrison Reed. Chalabar, that's a lovely ball forward, Harry Wilson's in. Left footed shot, he's made no mistake this time. 3-0 to Fulham, another great ball through, you've got to say from Nathaniel Chalabar. We have shown some real top quality with the ball through Jamie from midfield. You've always got the William runner. Well, thankfully he's proved me right. It can't be much more than five minutes ago. I said, I think he's got a goal in him tonight. Feeds it out for Harry Wilson, right-hand side. 
Pushes it forward for Bobby Decker to overread. Heading for the byline. Lovely little turn into the box. He's done well. Pulls it back. Needs to get Kibano. Yes. It's 1 0 to Fulham. Well, that was brilliant work from uh, Bobby Decker to overread. And Niskins with that goal a couple of weeks ago, his first of the season in the win up at Nottingham Forest. On that occasion, Nick got the, uh, the outcome it deserved, really. The lovely little run from Bobby. Got down to the byline, pulled it back. Niskins has taken up a great position, and that's a top quality finish to put Fulham in front. You wake up in the morning and see that in the papers a 4 1 win and a deserved 4 win, 4 1 win and a justified it. To... Here comes Ivan Cavallero. Can he make it uh, five? Under the left foot. Yes, yes, it does. A double from Ivan Cavallero, and it's 5 1 to Fulham. What a great finish. He twisted and turned, got it onto his left foot. Good work from Mitro as well, Jamie, helping create that. As I say, 94 minutes into the game. Good legs from Alexander Mitrovic. Great uh, running from Ivan Cavallero, who's got to be pushing for a first team place. On the basis of that, his uh, countrymen, the manager, will know uh, what he can do now. As I say, we haven't really built on that, but here's a gift. Mitrovic is there. Get it's 2-0. Oh, that's a nightmare. Was it Robert Snodgrass, I think? As I'm saying, we haven't built on it and we haven't really threatened their goal since, Jamie. And if it was Snodgrass, I think it was. He's going to hope the ground would open up and uh, swallow him up because he's it's nowhere near finding the goalkeeper. He's turned back towards his own goal. He's played the pass with the outside of his right foot along the ground, perfectly weighted to do nothing other than uh, pick out Alexander Mitrovic, who's onside. Can't believe his luck because Sam Johnson comes to close him down. He's got all the time in the world. Jamie, you haven't got to be the best striker in the championship. Me or you would have scored that.